Yeah. There you go, so... I mean, I do, I do know a couple of them. They're like very casual. Oh, looks yes. like we're getting right into it though. Yeah, so we're gonna see, as if you guys have seen any of the Nikko sets either today or in the past, we're gonna see a lot of bomb setups and just general neutral uh, spacing, things like that, trying to find little ways to get in and, and convert because Young Link doesn't have that great uh, of like a punish, let's say. I mean, his punish is pretty strong, but it relies heavily on finding those bomb hits in neutral and uh, yep. converting off them. Yeah, but I, th I think Nicholas is probably the best young link at finding um, spots to grab bombs because that's what I noticed. I only played one game with him before my controller broke, but I, I noticed that every time I would uh, slip up and give him a little bit too much space, he would immediately dash back and like short hop, bomb, grab. Yeah, um, and right as you said that as well, you pulled a bomb on top platform when you think that Sail is trying to hunt him down, but he managed to find some time to get the bomb out, which is just yeah. insane. But I imagine that's how you get this good with Young Link. You know, yeah. you find those opportunities. And those are like, like his like two main ways to get bombs as well. Like, so just just uh, create distance by running away or try to jump over someone's approach and grab a bomb. That's yeah, or like jumping. Yeah, jumping in the opposite direction also works out pretty well because you're kind of baiting them, saying like, you're not going to chase after me. I, I know you're you're also afraid that you're going to get uh, punished for such a an aggressive play. So I'm just going to yeah. pull a bomb and run away. There's not much you can do. Yeah. All right. Looking very good for him now. Just slowly chipping away at Sil's stock here and uh, pretty solid lead for now. Sale hasn't really gotten a solid hit in yet, or like a combo going, just some some uh, random hits. Yeah, and we're waiting for the big hit, you know, the bomb hit into down air, or just an up air fishing on the platform will do it at this point, I think. Yeah, dash attack is also pretty strong, but I think down smash is going to be the, the main source of kill power as well. Yeah, the nair there ends up doing it, but uh, again, also against Zelda, it's a little bit different. Yeah. But Niklas is so fine with dragging on the stock. Uh, like if if it if it takes him 180 percent to kill you, he will he will gladly just you know chip away at you until you're at that percent. So he doesn't. He's very good at that uh, patient play. So yeah, very solid player, not letting many cracks uh, appear as as the match goes on. Oh <laughs> wow! Did you see that bomb <laughs> helping out the jabs there? The the, the pummels from Sheik. And Sale seems to be finding nice opportunities in, to get in in neutral, but not converting heavily off of them. That bear might be enough. And finds the needles as well, that'll do it. But now we're just gonna see what Nicholas can do with this uh, small lead he's built up so far. Yeah. I mean, Sail did manage to, to, to close the gap a little bit, but right now it's looking like uh, Nicholas is doing such a good job of keeping him out. Yeah, and there, that oh, boomerang there in the bomb, just some free damage, and the dash attack's gonna do it as well. Yeah, no jump, that's gonna kill. Bad the eye as well. And yeah, against Young Link, you really have to be conscious of where you are relative to Young Link, because if you let yourself be in any of the trajectories that he can throw bombs towards, you're in danger, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like there even, just having the bomb drop and, and being punished for putting out a move like that is, is really rough. Yeah. Definitely a one-of-a-kind player. Yeah, for sure. In Europe. That bomb covering above as yeah. well, figuring that sail is coming, that was nice. Throwing a bomb upwards is so good in neutral. Like, if, yeah. if you have enough space to do that, you can actually like throw up, throw it upwards, and then just grab another bomb if there's enough space between you and your opponent. Yeah, you can throw up if you want. Yeah, I can throw up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. Throw it up, bro. Uh, okay, still getting him off stage now. Let's see if he can manage to edge guard him. Okay, he gets a grab. That's something. Another one. That's. I don't think that's a true chain grab. No, we saw the second uh, grab there, Nicholas uh, DI'd up and just yeah. managed to get attack on the platform and escape. So, I yeah. mean, it's more or less a mix-up, it looks like. I think he could have even jumped out of the first one, but I'm not sure. It looks like it was he was too. trying to uh, oh, put out a move as well. That bomb was not going to explode on time to save Nicholas, but still, a full stock lead, he's going to be happy with that. And Sale has to play so much more careful here. He's already started to play a little more uh, around the bombs, but even then, with such a huge uh, gap in stocks, I mean, it's wow. one stock, but... That boomerang you know, like, actually uh, reaches the top platform, that's crazy. Yeah. You know, the weird thing about this matchup is, um, it feels, it doesn't really feel like you're losing it while you are losing. <laughs> it's it's like, yeah. okay, like there's a lot of projectiles going on, but I'm, I'm, I'm managing to hold on, and it's, and then suddenly you're at, you know, 150% and you get hit by a nair and you die, like... Yeah. Feels so weird. Having played Nicholas on Netplay as well, I ran into him on Unranked. It's the same deal, you know. You're playing and you feel like you got a pretty good handle on it, and before you know it, he's three stalking you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. 
there's no moment there's just a single moment where you realize like oh okay <laughs> i understand yeah. oh wait oh wait i'm two stocks behind now okay well uh oh <laughs> Ooh, that power shield and throwing the bomb down as well, just clearing Sheik out of the way. And oh. the boomerang coming in clutch. Yeah. Youngling spot dodge, surprisingly good as well. Spot dodge oh. down smash, pretty decent. Cut sail jumping there. Ooh, I like going for the down smash there. It doesn't manage to get the hit though. And finds okay, it there as well, yeah. It seems yeah. like just uh, Nicholas just has such a good read on where Sale is yeah. going in general. You know, either is, is it jumping on a shield when he's in the corner or trying to go above him in neutral. He just knows exactly where he's going and he always has a decent response for it. All right. So that was a good showing. Um, lots of neutral wins as well, but he was just chipping away. Just This is just standard Nicholas play. I've seen this time and time again. You're just, he's chipping away, chipping away, chipping away until, until he finally gets it one hit to kill you yeah and hopefully now this counter pick without the platforms nicholas is going to have a harder time finding space to get those bombs as long as sale yeah. keeps up a decent amount of pressure but yeah but look at this sale isn't even trying to pressure him here i think sale, just... i think yeah as he should be he's he's scared you know because uh nicholas is very uh scary when he's throwing those projectiles out from the corner or, or even just from the middle of the stage you know you're scared how he's going to convert yeah. how far he can take it it's also weird when when nicholas is in shield and he has a bomb and you're behind him, he can still like punish you for being behind him <laughs> by throwing the bomb like behind him. It's crazy. Yeah. Man. It's so such a weird uh, interaction. You're not really used to that. Aside from playing against Peach, I guess, but that doesn't really happen too often. Plus, just in general, there's so many weird mat uh, factors in this matchup, like the boomerang. You have to remember where it is, how it's coming back, so yeah. you actually understand. <laughs> I like the bounce on the needles on the floor. <laughs> yeah. One downer. That was yeah, pretty that was that strong. Yeah, I was gonna say I expected that to send a little farther, especially because it's got that awkward angle. You know, it's a pretty strong yeah. uh, gimping tool against. Yeah, it's kind of like Yoshi's down smash, but a little weaker. Yeah. Doesn't convert off that bomb there. I figured that would be the holy grail, hitting a bomb that close to your uh, opponent. Nice power shield from Sale. Good fairing the bomb there as well. Hello? Okay, you can hear me again. My mic just cut off for some reason. No worries. Okay, yeah, this is actually the, the same situation as last time. Sale is just not finding the, the pressure he needs to keep up with uh, Nicholas' projectile game here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to say as well that, uh, you know... Oh, and he also saved uh, saved Nicholas there, no. Yeah. Luckily, he converted anyway, but uh, yeah, that's something you definitely don't want to do against the opponent is uh, save them at such a high percent. Yeah. I don't know, man. Sales just not playing very threatening, and that's the problem here, I think. Like... Yeah, he's letting Nicholas take the space, you know? Yeah, he's even getting hit by the long range projectiles he just took like 40 damage just from projectiles yeah those slow pokes really uh really do damage there Ooh, they good add a chase there i think ah uh, he tries to get the dash deck i think a boost grab might have helped work there but maybe it was a little bit too far and they're a little th a little uh hesitant to put out a move and in the end finding back air and getting <laughs> spiked okay <laughs> I'm sure I, I, love that. I love that hitbox you don't get to see it often, but I love it. Strongest meteor in the game. Oh, nicely done by Sale there. The slow get up from ledge helping him out with that uh, lingering young Link recover move. Okay, but uh, Sale is actually getting uh, closer to uh, evening this up now. Yeah, unfortunately still getting poked by all these projectiles. Nicholas is actually approaching. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Seems like he has to. Seems like he can. Let's say. Uh, I imagine can, that if, if know, he realized not, he couldn't, oh. he would stop. There is but a chain grab in play, though. Here comes the chain that. grab. Without the this platform, is a, this there is no escape. Pretty yeah. strong chain grab as well. I didn't know that. That's what it's I was figuring last game. The damage. reason he, the reason he got out was because of the platform. He was able to di up and tech out of it. But yeah. now no platform, so Sale should be taking more advantage of this. I feel. It does kind of look like the chain grab. Sheik has on Pikachu, so I think he could could jump out at around like 70-ish. But even then, you know. Yeah, you won't get four kills into whatever. 
or something. As long as you're standing about diagonally from uh, from Young Link, and I read this in a Nikki tweet the other day, you know, he was helping Kinzo out. Uh, if you stand sort of diagonally away from Young Link, he can't hit you with a bomb. That's a bomb angle he can't hit. So as long as you're sort of diagonally upwards space, from him, you mean? Diagonally upwards or diagonally downwards. I'm pretty sure diagonally downwards is, is uh, the same deal where it's sort of like a blind spot for him. Of course, he has I boomerang. Guess, yeah, it's not boomerang that simple. works for that angle, but it's a pretty hard commit because it's yeah. slow. Okay. Nice patience there from Nicholas jumping backwards. Yeah, Nicholas now not too antsy. He knows that, you know. Yeah, uh, he's going to play the long game here. Takes a lot of damage from the needle. His aggression may have actually uh, been his downfall here if he ends up losing this match because, you know, he ran into that chain grab. And here we go, another chain grab coming out here. Okay, let's this is huge for Sil. He can actually bring this back now. Yeah, let's see if he can get this chain grab all the way. Okay, so this is a, this is a long chain grab, man. Yeah, and these pummels yeah, he should have been able to jump out there, at least from the grab, but then you'll just get up tilted. That's the problem. So now oh, he's, right. he's actually behind now. Wow, still bringing it all the way back. It's a tricky spot, though, you know, because now, yep, if a bomb commit. Yeah, but going for a bomb down air is pretty committal as well. Like, it's hard to... You can't really react to the bomb hitting. So for you sure, have to kind of read that the bomb is going to hit. I was looking more... <gasps> oh, no, not like that. that. Oh, that's rough. Oh, Seal's gonna be happy about that one. Yeah, good for Sale though. Good to get on the board early instead of letting uh, letting drop down 2-0. Now the counter pick advantage isn't as brutal as it would have been. Yep. Looking at these stats here, looks about about the same amount of time per match. Seems like both players uh, have a pretty consistent game plan here. I would say, yeah, Nicholas needs to. It sounds odd to say, but you know, less aggression here because that's yeah, sort of he was, he was into those. Yeah, especially after he learned, after he lost the first stock, he kind of lost patience. I feel like that's yeah. not very Nicholas esque, but yeah, yeah it feels really say. <laughs> yeah, that's when he really started to lose a lot of instrument directions. We saw how how effective he was at poking away with those projectiles. So if he can just keep that up, he should be able to get a pretty solid lead without uh, much commitment here. Yeah, I think he really likes this stage. Nicholas does. Right, he can kill pretty early off the top. I mean, uh, yeah, and he has a lot enough space to run around, and he has platforms. I mean, it's not top platform, but it's still nice. Yeah, at the very least, you've got the platforms to escape the uh, chain grab if you need it. Yep. And that bomb, the late, uh, late connection there. Zero percent on on Nicholas. He's playing so safe right now. Okay, goes in with an air. Like, oh, and actually, air. that was a hard read on the double jump, and that worked out for Nicholas. This is zero to death. <laughs> Although diving he fifty seconds. Death. <laughs> True, actually, yeah, that is a zero to death. Wow. <laughs> is he gonna get the zero to death before a minute passes? <laughs> <laughs> you can always count on Nicholas to hit that. Yeah. <laughs> and here again, just poking away with these projectiles. You know, the solid hits are there. He is connecting nares and things, but really the mileage he's getting in this matchup it falls down to the projectiles he's putting out. Yeah, he's looking so much more patient right now than he was uh, last game. Perhaps also nice feeling a little more comfortable knowing that uh, he doesn't have to worry about the chain grab here. Yep. Oh, oh and there, there it is. is. Good read. See, you, it's, you, do, you did mention that it is high commitment, but I feel like in that situation, it's not very high commit if you know that you're connecting a bomb close to the yeah. other character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you, but that's, that's like the read you have to make, right? You have to know right. the bomb is going to hit. It's not as simple as reacting in the moment. Yeah. Actually charging an, uh, an arrow, you don't see that too often. Yeah, threatening the ground space, at the grounded Ooh. space as Sheik is uh, coming down seems pretty strong considering uh, Sheik doesn't look like she wants to be in the air in this matchup. Okay, yeah, this is tricky, man. A, the onslaught of projectiles. Okay, Sale's taking it easy. Looks like needles are actually pretty effective against these projectiles. I'm guessing needles... Oh, they do. I was going to say they don't beat a boomerang, but it does. <laughs> yeah, it reflects it. But the problem yeah. is, you know, uh, if you give Nicholas too much time, he's going to overwhelm you with projectiles. And uh, yeah. I don't right think you can needles out fast enough. I mean, it looks like it, it works, though. Yeah, I mean, it is shutting down a lot of the uh, approaches Nicholas is making here. Yeah, Sailor's Perhaps picking his thoughts really well. Sailor's had some sort of epiphany in the matchup. Yeah. 
Oh, and found that F-Tilt, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't manage to get the hit there. Unfortunate. Nice little combination there. Okay, and... Wow. Oh, no! He gets, he gets the spike again. I'm guessing he gets that so often. Yeah, it's probably like pretty he doesn't. Funny. He never wants it, but he gets it every time. <laughs> he's never hitting it off stage, you know. Or at least, if he is, uh, perhaps he's not connecting the spike hitbox because it's pretty high commit to do that off stage, you know. Yeah, Dive it's it off like that. Commit. Ah, and now he's just losing it very fast. Actually, Sale just trading way too many hits. Yeah, and at this point, the percent is a bit too high, I think, to mount a, a comeback against. Uh, yeah, especially. Here. Yeah, with yeah with Nicholas' playstyle, it's super hard to like get an early kill on him because he's always in the center. At least he's trying to be always in the center. Right, and he's and it's just a matter of time before he finds that bomb connection. Oh, yo, no, yo! But the needles. Ooh. Oh, barely missed the needles there. Yeah, back to center, just uh, keeping him off. Oh, again with the double jump read, and there it is. Nice. All right, so All right. Nicholas goes up 2-1. Yeah, sitting pretty in winners still. Let's look at the bracket, actually. Who, who, who we got? We got Ninjago right. Fen versus King. Oh, King. Yeah, that'll King be coming up eight. next, I believe. Yeah. Looks like loser's part of top eight is already starting. Taisu 3 0 ing e uh, e I guess is how you pronounce oh, it. Oh, yeah. Taisu, he's good, man. I was so surprised because he was fifth seed in my pool and he almost beat me. Uh, oh, wow. But, like, I, 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 I was shaking. I had to, like, make a three stock comeback to actually win that. It was <laughs> kind of cheesy, not going to lie, but hey. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, he's really good. So uh, I, I was very surprised because I I think he was a, a an Icy's main first, but now he's playing Fox. Ah, fair. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yeah. All right. Looks like uh, okay. This is pretty even still. Yeah. Still picking a lot a, of in his shield. Just, yeah. Picking a smaller stage is hoping to close the gap between uh, between himself and Nicholas here. Sale wanting to give Nicholas less space to pull these bombs and and command uh, take the commanding lead he's been taking with the projectiles. Nice spacing from uh, Seal there to get the grab as well. Yeah, okay, he finds that back right chase. Looking pretty good for Sale now. He's got to hold on as long as he can keep this lead uh, and poke away, you know, keep trading. Yeah. Ooh, nice, nice nair there. He actually found that. Sale looking like he's not getting overwhelmed by these projectiles as much. Yeah. I feel like um, it's actually Nicholas now trying to stop Sil from charging needles. At least that, that it kind of felt like it for a second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there it is again. Like every time. Now, now it's actually the other way around. Sil is just kind of camping him out now, but gets hit with the strong boomerang. Boomerang into Nair that will kill. Let's just hope this 26% lead is enough to uh, to win this game here. Obviously easier said than done, but if he can continue to trade moves and keep trading stocks uh, with himself as the, the first person taking it, then he should be able to do it. Ooh. Oh, finds that Nair as well. Okay. Ah, oh, he doesn't get the chain there. I was going to say, it looked like Sale was a little too comfortable there. <laughs> I yeah. wasn't entirely sure if Nicholas was making it back. Okay, look at this. Sale's just camping him out now. I guess needles are actually more effective than I thought. Go figure. Sales picking his spots very well now. Wow! Great shield drop for there. there. Okay. <laughs> Roll in down smash, the classic. Finds a nair here. Is it going to be enough at 97%? Goes for the diving nair as well. Yeah, I would like to play. see... Um, Nicholas go to the to the edge actually and just edge guard him like more methodically there instead of going yeah. for the nair again. I think he was banking on it working considering he got it the other two times that game, wonder, but the up air will do it. I wonder if, if Nicholas is able to do the up B towards the ledge from the stage. I've never seen him do that. Ooh. Yeah, that would be... Uh, oh, that's actually... You can... 
you can shield grab for tilt. That's interesting with Young Link. The chain does have some merit. Some. Some. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Oh, connects the bomb Ooh. there. That would have been brutal if Sail managed to connect a fair there at the oh, end. Oh, this is pretty bad for Sail. He's in a bad spot. Slow roll. Oh, he's just rolling down smashing now. He's kind of panicking, not gonna lie. Yeah, getting a little antsy, doing exactly what we said Nicholas is really good at not doing, not letting cracks expose oh, when you're this worked close again. to killing. Yeah, and that time he went deep forward as well. Okay, good trade for Sale, although it was a strong hit. 33% is not too bad, he can still do this. But then we'll have to play uh, against Nicholas's counterpick, which is going to be difficult. Okay, ooh, nice weight on the bomb throw, I like that, but Seal still managed to get away from it. Yeah, he wasn't ready to commit there and just let himself dash back bomb, you know, more damage is always uh, useful and if you hit the shield, you know, that's fine as well. You're not getting punished for it, you're far enough away. Okay. Nicholas playing very patient right now. Yeah, she's using top platform to pull some more bombs. Sail's not getting any hits right now, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, nice boomerang from Nicholas there, catching Sail ah. moving high. And now, not sure why he went for the air dodge there. That's gonna do it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that down smash. We were saying it wasn't strong enough, but we, when we were talking there about it that, was. it was it was from the uh, middle of FD here on Yoshi's. It's definitely yeah. strong enough to kill. Yeah, I think it also has a, has a stronger hitbox. The more uh, uh, the the closer it is to the center of the down smash, but I'm not sure. Don't quote yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna quote you on it. I've already written it down. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> he's gonna tweet it. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it looks like we'll be having uh, Ninjago Fan 72 versus King next. King making an insane run this tournament, just wiping out all of his pools matches, uh, 3-0ing me in round one. You know, that's no, it's not a, 